Ku Klux Klan leader Bill Wilkinson, flanked by two rogue Klansmen, came out of the Ramada Inn on the Virginia Beach oceanfront about 15 minutes before the recruiting rally was scheduled to begin. A small number of members of the Committee Against Racism moved towards a confrontation when all of a sudden a KKK opponent burst through the crowd, punched a Klansman in the face, and a scuffle ensued that resulted in one arrest. <laughs> After order was restored, police allowed Wilkinson and about 50 supporters to cross 6th Street to an abandoned lot. The plan is here in Virginia Beach tonight. Our support may appear to be small, but rest assured from the people that I've talked to and encountered in this area, the support for the Klan in the United States of America is growing. However, Wilkinson was told that not all Klan supporters were allowed to cross the street. Maybe if they want to allow them to come over here, we can go on over there. Wilkinson walked to the boardwalk and again addressed the crowd. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can y'all hear me out there now? Yeah. The Imperial Wizard was cheered and jeered as he called for segregation, and then he ended the rally. Bill, what'd you think of the rally? Uh, it was tremendous. Under the circumstances, with all of the pressure from the Navy, from the authorities, the downplay of the mayors of the towns, Everything combined, the chilly weather, I think it's fantastic. The people here, I think you can't deny the people that are here tonight, are totally sympathetic and behind the Klan. Many of them are Klansmen, of course. Many of them will be Klansmen shortly. All right. However, as Wilkinson walked away, someone from the crowd threw a smoke bomb. But there was more, and Joan Gartland has that story. Shortly before 7 o'clock, about 75 members of the Committee Against Racism marched north on Atlantic Avenue near the Ramada Inn. They were carrying signs and chanting. When they tried to cross the street into the hotel parking lot, police dressed in riot gear with dogs turned them back. For the most part, the car group stayed across the street. While the Klan rally continued in a vacant lot next to the hotel, car members burned signs and shouted. Police officers managed to keep the two sides apart most of the evening. But when the Klan rally ended, the groups came face to face, and the situation appeared about to explode. The Klan and anti-Klan protesters shouted at each other for about a half hour. Then police made a line in the middle of the street. You will have approximately five minutes to clear this area. You will have two minutes to get I repeat, this is a warning. With the threat of arrest, the crowd slowly broke up. Police reopened Atlantic Avenue, and traffic started moving through the area around 8.30. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach.